Welcome to the ITU studio here at the Global Symposium for Regulators, GSR 24, here in Kampala in Uganda. Where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Isabel Mauro, who is Director General of the Global Satellite Operators Association, GSOA. Thank you, Max. Pleasure <laughs> to be with you again. <laughs> now, Isabel, I wanted to start off by asking you, Participating in GSR24 is one of the key benefits of being an ITUD member, what some people would say. Why is participating in this unique platform for discussions important to JASOA? I think it's important for all of the industry. Uh, you know, I, I have had previous lives in, in telecoms, in the telecoms ecosystem, and uh, it's, it's a forum that we have always attended as an industry. Um, and for the satellite industry, more than ever, uh, this forum is really important because we're an industry that is growing at an incredible pace, that is innovating. Um, and it is very important to have this dialogue with regulators so that we help them understand, uh, you know, the new ecosystem, how things are evolving uh, at a pace that is very hard sometimes for regulators to follow. Um, and so for us, it's really important to have this dialogue and, and understand each other's needs how, you know, what are our common goals? How can we help countries, you know, and regulators in country achieve their goals of meaningful connectivity, but at the same time promote investment, promote innovation, making sure that we have business models that are economically viable and, you know, sustainable and, and inclusive. So I think, in, you know, increasingly this is really, really um, important for us. It's also a forum where, as you saw today, I think I came probably, I would say, 15 years ago for the first time to a GSR or maybe more. Um, and to see it grow to the size that it is today, I think you have more than 800 delegates in the room. It's also a testament, as I, I think, for the need for regulators, A, to meet, uh, but also to meet amongst themselves, but to meet with us so that we can share as, as industry best practices uh, and help them you know, implement and develop the best regulation uh, possible. Now, there's lots of interesting topics on the table here, yeah. but regulation for impact is the theme of GSR this year. In your opinion, what role does industry play in the conversations with regulators, peers and other digital stakeholders? I think we have a critical role to play. Um, as I was saying, you know, the, the pace of technology is evolving so quickly that it's very hard to it's very hard for us as industry to keep to keep up you know with new business models what is needed so for regulators this is becoming absolutely fundamental they need to sit at the table with us i think the word you know that that we're hearing more and more it's really collaboration and collaboration is key i don't think you can develop policies or regulations anymore as a regulator without any dialogue with industry, without any guidance, without any input from industry, and vice versa. So impact for us is, you know, making sure that policies are agile, if you want to, and flexible enough to adapt to the rapid pace of change. But as I was saying, that are also, you know, in terms of spectrum licensing in our case, that they also provide certainty. Um, so then predictability, so that we can continue to invest and, and innovate in those countries, and we can have a level playing field, if you want, for all players, uh, you know, on the on the market. And impact is all about, I think, you know, both industry and uh, regulators and governments wanting a sustainable, inclusive digital economy where we can have as many people as we can, and hopefully the whole, uh, you know, the whole planet connected um, to to digital services. Now, just so as, as an ITUD sector member, uh, is obviously uh, supporting uh, in shaping the future of digital development. Perhaps you could give us a, a few examples of that. Well, I think just, you know, suffice to see how many satellite operators are in the room, um, you know, compared to maybe even just five years ago. Uh, I think it's incredible to see the, the, the sort of the input and, and the, you know, the, the work that the satellite industry is doing. We are set to double the number of, of satellite users to 500 million by uh, 2030. Um, in so many areas, you know, we have extended coverage, we have resilience and resistance. So those are the kind of unique specificities of the satellite industry. We're also working hand in hand. We signed a cooperation agreement with uh, GSMA recently um, because the integration of terrestrial and non-terrestrial is going to bring, you know, endless benefits to unserved and underserved areas that so far didn't have uh, access. And most likely, it's not just about providing access to communication to citizens, but it's also enabling advanced services and IoT services to come to areas that 
you know, until now have not had the chance to have these services. So you're talking about helping also small enterprises, entrepreneurs in sub-Saharan Africa, in Southeast Asia. Um, so I think our impact, uh, you know, and, and the role that we have as a, as a satellite industry and, and GSOA representing the industry um, is really important. And for regulators, I, I think it's important as well to be able to come to an association that is neutral in terms of players. We have players from all around the world, smaller ones, larger ones, ones with new services, others with more uh, you know, traditional services but are innovating. And it's important to them to come to an organization that can give them one voice, you know, one, it's pl one platform that can provide one voice um, to, to their questions. Well, Mario, thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Thank you. Great to catch up with you as, as always and look forward to catching up with you again in the near future. Thank you. Thank you, Max. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our ITU YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, why not visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.